Hey guys. Um, sorry, let me adjust my microphone. <laughs> okay, so game, we're doing a blind let's play. The game I selected to play is uh, this one, Tadpole Treble. Um, I believe it's a music game. Uh, here are the tags for it, action, adventure, indie music, great soundtrack, and so on. Um, but this is a blind let's play, so I'm not sure that it's a rhythm game. But uh, let's launch it. Let's launch it. And uh, and I guess we'll find out. So. I'm already digging the music. I guess it's a uh, keyboard. Actually, hang on a second. Let me just. I apologize. I'm gonna disable my Play TV client here. While I'm at it, let me turn off my alarms. And let's just kill Flux. Oh. But yeah, okay. So now we're ready to play. Oh, files, okay. Let's go to file one. Hello, what's my name? My name is Neb. This game is really charming. Let me, I'm gonna lower the, the music a little bit, just a little bit, because I want to make. I don't want it to overpower my commentary. But, um, but yeah, I, I, this I find this game. It's, it's already charmed me. Like I'm loving it already. Let's try adventure mode. I'm assuming that's the main game mode. Tadpole Pond. I guess is that the mommy frog? Yeah, you can do a job. Could be the dad, I guess. It's the, the frog parent. You can do a job. Break out of that egg. Okay. Oh, I'm pressing keys and I see there's an egg wiggling. I, I, I think I broke out. That's my girl. Dodge those. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, and look. The... The... My parent grabbed those. Oh, I'm not in, in position to grab them. Shit, I didn't. I wasn't. Eat those. Okay. Smack those. How do, how do I. Okay, that's how you smack. Oh, I was supposed to smack that thing also. That's on, that's too far. Oh, 
Oh no. There were some mechanics I wasn't clear on, like there were other tadpoles in, in the stream. Oh, cutscene. I escaped it looks like but yeah there are some like there were other tadpoles and sometimes I bumped into them is that good or is that bad I couldn't tell it's like a stage and help Baton get back to her home and also it looks like sometimes I have to choose between sparkles or bubbles and I don't know which is trout tributary I wasn't sure which, which is the optimal choice. I'm assuming that fish can eat me. Oh man, I should have gotten following me. I 
couldn't tell which bar line on the note some of those things. I don't know how many... I don't know if I can make it or not in, in some of the... <laughs> Harmonic Hunter. Challenge Fly Acquired? I got 99 out of 100. I missed one bubble. Gosh darn it. Yeah, like... Because I can hold down like the up arrow, for example, to like zoom upwards, but I don't know what her movement speed is yet. So sometimes I overshoot. Chiptune Lagoon. Oh wow, everything's low res. Also, the timing and. I feel like I've been hitting a lot of obstacles. But I can't seem to um, move up and down and smack at the same time. Maybe I can. Like, I haven't been able to pull it off. <laughs> and it felt like. What? I miss it? I felt like it was necessary for some of those moves. Yeah, D, man, I did, I did poorly on that level. I felt like it was necessary to be able to like move up, for example, and then immediately smack, and, and for whatever reason, it wasn't working for me. Midnight by, by you? I don't know how to pronounce that word, but I guess it's probably by you. Tadpole. 
what? On this midnight run, Davey, you seem lost, but don't worry, cause I just might know the way through. I'll slip you beside you and tap the league I do, and then deride you, dear. I'll be your own ranger, protect you from danger, like blood sucking strangers do. Was I supposed to smack that mosquito? I did okay. Man. I don't know what that is. Is it a beak? It is a beak. Oh no. Oh, wow. Is that my parent frog? Wow, that's it. That giant frog. for you. Well, thank you for distracting that snack. In your return I offer this piece of advice, Earl. Be sure to watch your back. Or you just may be eaten. You would be most wise to remember this in dangerous in the dangerous grotto you are currently heading into. Barracuda caverns. The beast that dwells there is an aggressive foe, but his eyes are quite sensitive to light. If you can find a way to brighten his day, you might just pull through. But since you are here, perhaps you would oblige to help me out, you see. I desire bubbles. I know you have some on you. I would recognize that sweet cherry scent anywhere. If you give me your bubbles, I'll give you some nice rewards. It's not mandatory. Take it as some sort of quest on the side. A side quest, if you will. 
Although I can make my own bubbles, they do not last long, and they certainly do not smell of cherries. So please keep a mental image of my pleading eyes in your tadpole brain as you collect these bubbles. Well, bubbles and challenge flies. Welcome to the bubble bank. I'll hang on to your bubbles in exchange for goodies accessible from the main menu. Whoa, 460 bubbles? I picked the right horse to bet on, clearly. Keep up the good work. And my gratitude and my rewards. Enjoy them. So, did I actually unlock anything or, or what? I suppose you're wondering what challenge flies are. They're quite rare. Indeed, each area of this land only has one. And to capture them, you must perform certain feats to draw them out. For instance, one challenge fly may come out if you hit all the bamboo in the area. If you're having difficulty succeeding, do not neglect your treble charge meter. Once it is filled, simply hold your attack down to charge your tail. You will temporarily enter treble mode, which allows you to break through rocks without taking damage. In exchange for this enlightening suggestion, I expect a meager reward. Please bring any challenge flies you find to me. I'll be sure to give them a good home. Rough. And by the way, I've been charting windows. These creatures appear as well. I might even consider sharing my chart with you, if you bring me enough bubbles, of course. Uh, I was hoping he would actually show me some of these challenge flies. So let's talk. Ever had a brawl in the family? One started a few years ago at my froggy family reunion when my cousin Kermie tried to eat me. Not sure why I thought it was so amusing. I didn't hear anyone laughing. I'm gonna get you, Kermie. Alright, see you later, I guess. Catch me next time. Congrats, you have earned an Etude reward. Bestiary 1 is unlocked, Music Player is unlocked. Bestiary 2 is unlocked. Alright, Barracuda Caverns.
viewer is now unlocked. Snowfall Lake. I guess I guess staying low deals damage to you because that's what it's trying to say. So I think bubbles and score are like two independently tracked things. And I, and I guess it's plausible that I could get 100% bubbles, but not, but get a very low score. Because it looks like the sparkles is what gives you scores, not the bubble. And possibly like not hitting mines also gives you score. Just so rapids. Oh, I'm going backwards. I just, okay. Dead. I mean, 
I'm gonna try replaying some of the earlier levels actually. Like, I'm trying to. Let me. Like, help me learn the mechanics game. This is the first level? I guess this is the first level. I got A. Is A the highest? What did my mouse over is gonna explain to me? 100 person balls, bro, surely. Oh, S is maybe fail? And the challenge fly. S is like. I guess S is the highest ranking. Um. Let's go for bubbles. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm gonna focus on bubbles for this run. Non score. Gamepad, but let me switch back to keyboard. I think keyboard gives me better control. Okay. for the mines, not for the health packs. This looks like every mine I dodge gives me 30 points, and all the sparkles gives me 30 points. Oh my- okay. Almost got a hundred. <laughs> I miss one. Oh, man. Okay, whatever. Congrats, you can getting an S rank. You've unlocked the team for Threat Tributary and Music Player. Alright, let's go for low score. Let's let's go for um, let's go for hundred bubbles or whatever it is on top of this. Oh, I got 99 bubbles. Well, let's go for 100 anyway. How hard can it possibly be, right?
chiptune one. I feel like the graphics, the low res graphics makes this a little hard. I don't know, maybe, I feel like maybe the timing might be a little different. Oh! <laughs> you see how I, I totally missed every single one there? Yeah, how the hell are you supposed to get that bubble? Like, unless you just ball straight up. Just the 
My youths are so lovely, my youths are so beautiful, my youths are the girl of my dreams. Put cards on my own tall tree, but I hope and pray my youths feel the same way about me. This one bubble, gosh darn it. Yeah, confirm the healing takes no give you points. What? I didn't hit that one. Yeah, they just run this, uh... <laughs>
wrecked pretty bad. Oh, but I got a change fly. Did, is that a new change fly? I already had the change fly in this level. I feel like I only had one change fly before, so if I can find the yeah, here's the other one where I had the change. So I guess that is a new change fly. I don't know what I did to, to get it. Does it ever tell you? Let there be light. As usual. Uh, okay. I don't know how many bubbles I missed here, but I feel like I missed a bunch. Oh man, and it went up too fast. I got a B instead of a C, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> again where I didn't see that there is a there was a sparkles in the top of the water. Oh 
I should have. Should have smacked again, I guess. Trails. Oh my gosh. The thing is, they're like, well, I'm not sure if they are, but it feels like they're quantizing my up downs. And if they are quantizing my up downs, that makes <laughs> that makes doing these trails really f difficult. The rest of you have learned any super word fly chart is now unlocked. The machine fly chart tells me how to get the flies like unscathed, meaning never take damage, I assume. this? I wasn't sure that was something else was a smack or what. shooting a gun at me. This might be it, guys. What the heck? That would be a slide trap. Now what's happening? There's so much going on on the screen, I can't tell what's happening. I feel like there's a bit of a synchronization problem. Wow. 
Because you know when when the plants were going la 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 and like the minds were synced to that. But so were were the bubbles, like they were vertically at the same position. And like the, the sound effect of picking up the bubbles was not on beat. Um, and having a rhythm game <laughs> where the, where things are not on beat is, is kind of like Well 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 you kiddo. Looks like you strayed pretty far from home. Got through a few tough scrapes, have you? Well, that don't amount to a little bean down here, because this here's Thunder Creek. And you've got a slug's chance in a salt mine of getting through here without a problem. I reckon you should mosey on back, cowpoke, before you get your goose cooked. It's kind of a Still game hanging breaker. Around. A deal breaker. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. At least you'll be able to enjoy one last song, courtesy of my snail amigo. Adios, muchacho. Let me tell you about a little place called it's a rather shocking channel, so to speak. From the moment when you first arrive, you'll be fighting to get out alive. Or can you folks survive Thunder Creek? So you're asking how to make it Thunder Creek? Or you may just stand a chance with this technique. Oh, I can get that I'm losing health, <laughs> and the game wants me to know I'm losing health, because it's like... Is it because like, I'm in salt water or something like that? And I'm a freshwater fish? Thank you. 
What the heck was that? Oh, shit. I feel like I have to hit these notes, like the, the smacks on these things, pretty early. Like way before the events. Yeah, like what the hell. That was good. I think I trust you, you bastard. I guess I have no choice. Fine. He's gonna drop me into a war zone. And this is a undercover mission. You would disavow any knowledge of uh of my presence here. It's up to me to stop the humans. Succeed as quickly as you can. What an interesting <laughs> challenge because I thought as a rhythm game it's a fixed length level. But uh, we'll see, I guess. Crazy, crazy map. Oh, is it gonna go like back and forth? Because there's also a, a fan on the other side. So there's two things going on here. One of them, so the, the, the bar lines. Let's try it. So the, the notes, like the lines on the staff, are wires, and so every now and then they electrocute. So I don't want to like hang out on the wires. The other thing is, in the uh, the space between lines, sometimes there's like oil being sent through 
and that also like poisons me. I mean, like, if the Go home. Well, you can. If the bubbles are on the wires, what am I supposed to do? Just, like, I want the bubbles, right? So. How's my health? Not, not so great. <laughs> Am I supposed to do something here to it says like beat the level as quickly as possible? I tried to do this boss fight and like there's a whole bunch of puzzle mechanics here that, that's unclear to me. Um, so far I figured out I gotta break these wires, so I, I got that part figured out. Although that took me a while to figure out. So I'm gonna break all the wires. 
standing, but I want to collect these bubbles too. Just for bonus points. Then it looks like I got a, a bounce, like if I see the, the, how to describe it, like a yellow orb, if, if I smack that, I get launched into the air, yeah, one of these things, and then I can get this egg, and if I just do that a couple times, or that three times, or whatever, I can move on to the next stage of the fight, where it's like, where there's like, um, like, there's lyrics, and the lyrics are telling me to, to look at the lyrics, but I haven't figured out what I'm supposed to do with those lyrics yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the green tadpole in the middle of the screen, by the way, in case it wasn't clear. So I smacked this thing. Now, I think this is the next phase. So he's gonna start singing now. The nose, the lighter turns yellow right before he ignites. So, what's a life without adventure? Oh man, and what's life without some pain? Hey, but we could just keep running, girl, and we'll run till we die. Oh, okay, but we know what to do now, so we're making progress. Okay. Right. 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 
Wait, do, do I not actually take damage from the saw? Because that that was that's useful information to to know. I feel like I must. I feel like that was a glitch, and normally you do take damage from the saw. Are don't actually like the mites on that are not actually going to know to the song. Oh, maybe they do. Because I'm about to say, I feel like they're following me. Like when I'm at the top, they go up, and when I'm at the bottom, they go down. Come on, I did it three times. By the rules of video game design, if I just do three times, that should be enough to kill a boss. And what's life without some pain? Hey, Baton, we could just keep rocking, girl. It will rock till we die or go insane. Finally. Wait, there's more? Oh, God. Oh, no, that's it. And we did it with as quickly as possible, I guess. stream but my cat was like playing with some paper bags oh what's going on I have to escape before the whole place self destructs maybe and I, I can't quite make it oh no I'm dehydrating if only I had like frog legs oh wait I do I can jump now I'm a land creature it out just in time. screen for as long as possible, because that's just the type of guy I am. And also Michael Toronto, can't forget that guy. Oh crap, now I gotta make a choice! Oh, I heard magic. No! Wait, maybe if I do this... Uh, no, I think I lost it. Alright, who's next? Samantha. Take Samantha with me. Is that voice actors? Because it said Baton, but I don't remember Baton ever having a speaking line. Wow, so many 
These are hard to balance. Alive in Thunder Creek. And the scratchy refrain has almost reached its peak. For Greek Volcano Jupiter. No matter what happens, you can rest assured of a child that endured Thunder Creek. So go, little tackle. Find your way back home. Swim for that sanctum, you see. You took it in stride inside Thunder Creek. Thunder Creek. Take a screenshot there because I just saw the name of someone I know. I still got him, I still got him. Did it. Looks like I made it back to my Ted, to my froggy family. Thanks for getting me home, that Oof, the end. Oh, that's right. It asked me what my name was and it never used that information anywhere until just now, I guess. Search on hold and the credits. I just I saw there's a red dot. It's kinda like what's this? Oh credits. There's a red dot right right here. <laughs> but I can't seem to get to it. Some sort of secret level mate. Maybe this guy can tell me about it. I've been charting these creatures' whereabouts all my life. I just need someone with the correct physique to hunt them down for me. Good luck. Don't need to be shy. Get out there and meet lots of little tadpole friends. Alright. I guess let's let's go for these challenges. Meet lots of tadpole friends. So there that first is that the first level? Probably is. There is that level where like I bumped into it. There was all these samples and I bumped into them, I guess. Meet your tadpole place. So I guess if I just bump into all of them, that might be the way to do it.
I love like this this intro secret is so adorable. Look at look at the smiley. Look at how the, the frog smile. It, I love the art on and the aesthetics of, of this section. And I love how the frog's following me along. Helping me get through the first stages of my life, you know. How, do I, how, how can I hit all these guys? Wow, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> the achievements can just be like hit a bunch of them. It can't be hit all of them. There's, there's no way you can hit all of those guys. Unless you can hit all of them across multiple playthroughs. But that, that seems like a really tedious and... Stop now, but I was showing a panicky face. If I go all the way down, he won't be able to reach me. Nope. Turns out he can still reach me. I got the challenge fly. So I does say challenge fry. Challenge fly. Stay salty. Oh wait, that's the last level. I want... Wait, how do... What's the level progression? Oh, it's, it's probably like... Is it this? I guess it's this one. There's golden dar... Them dar heals. There's golden them dar heals. So... Something to do with gold. <laughs> so I could try... Like, I think the, the gold... There's pale of gold near. Are they called pals? I don't know what they're called. Sifters? Full of gold near the bottom of the screen sometimes. Maybe I gotta do something like that. Bye. 
I, I bumped into the gold. Is that good? Did I do it? Does the gold ever show up ever anywhere else in this level? <coughs> I feel like it doesn't. And so then... Because I've gone through that gold pal before. But, but that wasn't what you need to do to get charged. Get the challenge fly. This guy. Jump for joy. Does that mean I got? Let me see here. Okay, it's like blacked out if I don't have it. So I got the jump for joy. Join in the beat. Ugh. Chip tune. Join in the beat. I have two interpretations. One is like... Is to play along in the melody, but that seems unlikely. And the other interpretation is... To hit all the poles. So far I'm on track for hitting all the poles and not for playing along in the melody. I missed one. Well, hopefully I'll get the Jimmy anyway. <laughs> I did not get it. I really hope it's not because I missed one of the poles. Oh man. Take on the role of pest control. So I know there are... Like, in the corner of my eyes, I remember where fireflies. Um, so I don't know if I'm getting some of that. Why, hello, fellow tadpole, on this midnight rendezvous. 
seem lost, but don't worry, cause I just might go the way through. I'll slip you beside you and happily guide you and never be right you, dear. I'll be your own ranger, protect you from danger like blood sucking strangers. Just right hit all of those let's get the sense of dancing once we grow our own two legs here I say you're entrancing and I'm not a fellow who bends but I feel we were destined to be since we were heirs Like I don't feel those those crustaceans are snapping on beat the first couple of them. Hard on my own tall tree, but I hope and pray my youths feel the same way about me. Oh, did I miss that? I think I missed that mosquito. And I think it's because. I might have to like. Like clap for smack way earlier than, than I than my instincts. I feel like the game is not properly. I don't know if it's just my system. I don't know if I got some sort of cheating. Or, or what. Because it's not unusual for real games to like have a calibration screen where you can try to adjust for the uh, input lag and AV syncing. That's another one. That's two mosquitoes. Levels. This is the guy's name, Etude. All the glitters is not gold except in this stage. Get rich and quick. Make some noise in the stage. Liven things up using the bamboo. So, yeah, this is it's probably hit all the bamboo things with that one. I assume this is the dollar tears. This swamp has quite an infestation of pest nests, but clear them out in the most aggressive fashion. Okay, fine. Goody fry. <laughs> Just thinking about this fly, this aged cheesy flavor makes my mouth fill with the saliva of a thousand rivers. Alright, let's uh, see you later. Alright, do your music thing. So I'm pretty confident for those other guys, but uh, they're being like, we did that. Diet time. Diet time. Does that mean don't eat any of the food? Like, don't need anything. I mean, I can avoid the eggs and, and the food. I can just avoid everything. That seems doable.
I like this tune, it's very uh, Mario esque. I could, I could easily see uh, a level on like Mario 64, for example, having this tune as the background music. I'm at a 30 streak, but my streak isn't going up anymore, and I have a multiplier, but my multiplier is stuck at 1, so I don't know what the, how the scoring mechanic works in this game yet. Oh god! Okay, I mean that's probably like the whole challenge of that level. It, it's to get through that section without picking up any of those health packs. Treasure on this map? I don't remember that. Guess I gotta pay closer attention. Oh, there's, yeah, there's gems in the sky, right? That's probably what they mean. Like, rubies or something. There's some sort of green thing. Yeah, there's one of them. Got one. So, I don't know how many there are. Two of them. I think, okay, that was probably one there that I missed. Like, I probably have to do that double jump thing. Okay, that's perfect. Let's retry. Oh, okay, but I don't think there was a gem there, so... 
So if I take damage, it stuns me for a bit, and I can't jump, I guess. Yeah, got it that time. Because I, like, hit way, way early, <laughs> and apparently hitting way early is what you need to do on this game. At least on my hardware. Again, it might be hardware specific. Like, I feel like I'm hitting an 8 for maybe even a quarter note early. That's, that's how early. I feel like I'm hitting. I feel like I got them all. Just tough because like this is the level where the piranhas come together and then form a gun and then they start shooting me. So well, so much for that. Oh god, damn. Okay. Let's do another level. I don't think I can do this level one. The eyes have it. What could that mean? Do they mean like the bullseye? Like, cause there's a couple of targets in the, uh, in the middle of the water. And you got a slug's chance in a salt mine of getting through here without a problem. I reckon you should mosey on that cowpoke before you get your goose cooked. Still hanging around? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. At least you'll be able to enjoy one last song courtesy of my snail amigo. Adios, muchacho. Let me tell you about a little place called Thunder Creek. It's a rather shocking channel, so to speak. From the moment when you first arrive, you'll be fighting to get out alive. Or can you both survive Thunder Creek? So you're asking how to make it to Thunder Creek. Well, you may just stand a chance. 
dance with this technique. When you see this, you will give away and you gotta be nimble, bold, and brave, or else this will be your grave, not a free country. So go, little tadpole, turn around, turn around, and don't give it a second glance. No, no, little tadpole. I didn't get it. Apparently, apparently I didn't get it. Oh man. So that wasn't it. Stay salty. So assuming this means never jump out of the water. That's... This is by the way, a good job of, I think, telegraphing exactly what's happening to the player. Because, like, there are some other games. Um, do you remember um, in a previous stream I played, uh, what's it called? Drop Alive? And, like, that's in that game you play as a water droplet and you can evaporate um, and then, like, die from evaporation. And that wasn't at all clear to me at first. But you see what this game where, did, where like it sort of it darkened the whole screen except to show that your health bar and your avatar, and it clearly showed your avatar like having this like sad, pained face, right? Like, and so you're like, okay, something bad's happening, and then you look at your health bar and you realize your health is going down. So I feel like that's a very effective way to make sure the player knows, like understands the mechanic. So like I don't want to jump here because I don't want to leave the water. Right? I want to stay salty. It depends on your game, but like most games generally you want the player to understand the mechanic and then the challenge is in execution, right? Like, or strategizing possibly. So like, I know, I know what the rules of the game are, I just don't know what the best, I don't, I have to figure out either the best way to win given, given the rules. Okay, I 
cover is not good. So as I was saying, generally you you want another rules, and the only challenge is execution, which is like a like a game like Rock Band, right? Where it's it's execution that says that yeah, I get I get the game. There was a game that said every time it shows me a note on the guitar or the drum set, I have to hit that note. But then it, like I understand the rules, it's just hard to do it. Or a game like chess where like, okay, I, I understand the rules, but it's not clear to me what moves I should make. Right, I have, to, I have to think about it. But then there are also games where part of the challenge is figuring out the rules. And that's fine too. You just gotta figure out, or you have to know what your game's about. And then, and depending on, this, on what that game's about, you design your game differently. I don't get this one yet, so let's, let's give it another shot. The gold one. Anyway, both this game, I think, this is this game is not a like figure out the mechanics type of game or figure out the rules. I, f I feel like this, given it that it's basically a rhythm game, it should probably be about execution, right? Like, which is why it's a little bit disappointing that. I don't know what the score mechanic is. Like, I don't know what makes my multiplier go up. I'm gonna sneeze, excuse me. <laughs> So this game might want to look at um, anything in the B-Manning series by Konami, so like DDR, Guitar Fix, Romania, for example, for inspiration. Because what those games do is they put the combo meter, which I guess might be equivalent to streak and or multi in this game, like right where your eyes would be. It's like right now my eyes are on the tadpole, not at the top of the screen. See, I don't, did I get it? I don't know if... I, I still don't know what the achievement is here. And so, actually, let me... This brings me back to an area point. Um, this achievement thing could be about figuring out the rules, right? I'm, I'm totally okay with not understanding what I'm supposed to do um, for this, like, get the gold or whatever the, the challenge fly thing is. Because that makes... Like... That makes sense as a... Um, as a figure out the achievement. I forgot the rules, rather, sorry. Thing. But understanding the scoring system doesn't feel like it, it should have been something you have to figure out. I feel like it could have been more explicit or telegraphed or, or whatever. And so by letting me, like, Watch multi, for example, and, and or like always putting multi front and center on my on my screen. So that I can see I can what or what action am I taking that causes it to increase. Uh, and then I can say, oh now I, I, I get what multi is, and now and I know what to do to increase it. So I'm just gonna go and then, then it becomes an execution challenge, right? Now that I understand the rules, let me actually try the maximize multi. So it looks like streak is just every time I pass a mine, streak goes up and it casts a thirty, I guess. I don't know if it goes up when I collect um, 
sparkles. I'm assuming it doesn't go up when I collect bubbles. And then my multi is 2 and I don't know why. Like I, I don't know when it went from 1 to 2, so I don't know what action I took that made it go up. I believe multi resets a one if I take damage, like if I hit a mine basically, right? Like I think I, I saw some evidence for that, but that I, I Oh man. I gotta retry. But I, I don't remember for sure what I, what evidence I saw, so that tells me that multi resets a one when I take damage, so I don't know how strong. That uh, the evidence is for that belief. I keep glassing up the multi to try to see like is it is it at two yet? Maybe it's those jumps. Maybe every jump makes me go up multi. I don't know. I missed a jump this time, and I'm still at multi one. And I feel like I was multi 2 last time, and I hit the jump last time, so there's the evidence for that belief. Still at multi 1. Yeah, okay, so it is whenever I hit these jumps. Oh god. Yeah, I think I, I think I hit the pipe. I mean the bamboo. What? Pretty sure I missed a pipe, but maybe I didn't, so maybe I should keep going just in case. Oh man. Okay, I feel like I missed that pipe for sure. Okay, let's just start. So I guess if you want to go for score to get those S ranks. Now that we understand the scoring system, you want to keep your streak, meaning you, you want to not hit any mines. And you want to hit all the jumps to get your multiplier up. And bubbles doesn't matter, right, for score, I'm, I'm thinking. Maybe the sparkles also, I, I don't know how... I don't know how tight the S ranking is, like... Like, it's, 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 I don't think it's like a, a full perfect, right? Like, you don't have to like get every sparkle, hit every jump, and so on. I think there's a little bit of leeway before, for the S ranking. Although maybe there isn't like a like an S plus or something ranking if you do do everything perfectly.
I think I got them all. Let's fly, yes. Okay, what's next? Yeah, I hit all the mosquitoes, okay. Character sort of rolls her eyes in the sensor. As soon as the uh, this guy shows up, at the very start of the level, she's like, "What the? Who is this creep?" Again? I don't think I got it. Let me try it again. Cause I, I think the fly like dies when when I hit him like he falls into the ground or in the water I guess and it's like ah, I'm dead. Here you can set the the mosquito sort of like gave a heart reaction and I feel that means I did not kill him. Here watch watch my character. It's like what is this? Don't worry, cause I just might know the way through. I'll swim beside you and happily guide you and never be right, dear. I'll be your own ranger, protect you from danger like blood sucking strangers here. Yeah, definitely go dancing. I like the part where it says, let's go dancing, and then, like, the sparkles make me go up and down, and he goes up and down in the alternate pattern, right? So, like, we're dancing. So those, those snaps were on beat, right? Some of them are not like me. Okay, that was on me. Like, this is not on beat, actually. Yeah, like. But now this one is on beat. So, like, you know, what the heck? I hope that's not necessary for a fly because I, I wasn't in a position for it. How do you pronounce those guys' names? Like that monster we just saw. So, like, these guys. Is it like Quet Quetzatals? It's like. Q X E something and like first of all who named them 
like, like, that guy who wanted to, like, get high score on Scrabble or something. And then... I think I got the wrong. Oh, that's the last one. I feel like I have more skills, so hopefully this is it. Let's, let's check out some the interpretation for some of them. So I think that time is the uh, don't need any of the health packs, right? Let's try this. Uh, did your urges and going to Yeah. So probably don't need one of this one. Can you break these dangerous water cones? Yeah, okay. Don't mean to burst your bow, but the Hydra's bony heads have their eyes on you. There's a bony head. Okay. I think that one. Don't neglect to bring more sapphire dry stuff. I think that was the one I had to figure out. The it, that's where like the eyes have it, and there's like a bony eye. That had... Okay, so this one's relatively easy, but then there's like this one troll section, right, where I have to like dodge all of the uh, health packs. Oh, and I don't want to do any of these jumps actually, because some of them, like some of the jumps, jump you into health packs. It looks like, so I gotta be careful about that. Oh shit! Ran straight into it. I have pack up it. Looks like it's safe. This song is just so cast catchy. Like. I have the urge to sing along, but my singing is terrible, so I feel like I probably should not uh, submit you to <laughs> hearing me sing, but, but I want to. Just cause it's like... Just, just cause the melody is so catchy, it makes me want to, uh... Collect, the, you know, the bubbles on beat. And then... And it's that beat that makes you want to, like, move up towards where the, uh... Where the health pack is. I wonder what it, like I call it health pack, but it, it's is it like a fish scale or something? Like, a, cause it's sort of like like a triangular, like a rounded triangle shape, I guess. Okay, when's that troll section coming up? Cause I gotta I gotta be on guard for that, and I gotta like very carefully dodge through. I don't wanna take the gems, cause I don't know if they're gonna jump me into a health pack. Oh, 
I did super early and they worked anyway. I'll give it one a try, but I feel like this level is freaking impossible. Like this, this might be the hardest challenge fly, as far as I'm concerned. Like even that last boss challenge fly, that was like a piece of cake. Like once you know how to beat the boss, beating the boss as quickly as possible or whatever, this is pretty easy. Like I, I think I even messed up. Oh, well there I go. I messed up here. But I felt like I messed up on the boss. Like, I, he did one extra cycle. But I still got the, the, the challenge fly anyway, so... I feel like... Well, 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 kill. Looks like you strayed pretty far from home. Got through a few tough scrapes, have ya? Well, that don't amount to a hill of beans down here, cause this here's Thunder Creek. And you got a slug's chance in a salt mine to get through here without a problem. I reckon you should mosey on yes. back, cowpoke, before you get your goose cooked. Oh, so the bubbles do get points. They give like Still one point. Around. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. At least you'll be able to enjoy one last song, courtesy of my snail a Adios, Let me tell you about a little place called Thunder Creek. It's a rather shocking channel, so to speak. From the moment when you first arrived, you'll be fighting to get out alive. So that first bubble was in the, the skeleton's eyes. So... That, um... Oh, there is another one. So maybe it's get all the bubbles, or get all the bubbles are in the eyes. So I missed one, so let's, let's try again. Maybe that's what he's talking about. Every time there's a bones, I gotta make sure. Looks like you strayed pretty far from home. Got through a few tough scrapes. Grab the eyes. Well, that don't amount to a hill beam down here, cause this here's Thunder Creek. I think I keep missing the bamboo bowls at the beginning of this level, cause. I'm like distracted by the, by the fly who's talking to me. Still okay. hanging around. Gotta pay well, attention. Say I didn't for skeletons. You. At least you'll be able to enjoy one last song, courtesy of my snail a movie. I think it was a Let me tell you about a little place called Thunder Creek. It's a rather shocking channel, so to speak. From the moment when you first arrived, you'll be fighting to get out alive. Or can you folks survive Thunder Creek? So you're asking how to make it to Thunder Creek? Well, you may just stand a chance with this technique. When you see this, you will give it away, but you've got to be nimble, bold, and brave, or else this will be your great Thunder Creek. Thunder Creek. So go, little tadpole, turn around. Yeah, okay, so this is probably it. It's probably just get all get all of the ones that are in eyes. No, no little tadpole will be someone stand. Frankly, you don't stand a chance. <laughs> Western cowboy song. And oh, maybe I want to stay in the water to get this song. 
I probably would have gotten it anyway, even if I had just hit the uh, it's a western, right? So there's going to be shooting. And so that's why they have the bullet trims. Like, <laughs> I don't know if, like, if, if I got all. Oh, I did get them all. Okay. I was say that ending one. There, there wasn't a bubble in his eye, but there was bubbles all around his eye, and I didn't get all the bubbles. So. Say salty, got that. Keep your temple, but I got that. You just got that. So what am I missing now? There's gold. Uh, I still don't know that one. So there's one I don't know, and there's one that's impossible. What is the maestro flag? Yeah, what's that second? It's a rough boat. You may be wondering what the B-story pages are in my shop. I had a book earlier. I thought pictures of the animals would taste like a real thing, but they did not interrupt. However, I have a little use for these pages now, so bring me enough bubbles and I'll perk them up for your Parisian and anime amusement. How's that for motivation? <coughs> Okay, but how do I actually see history? Because <laughs> apparently it's not by going in there. How do I go back to the main menu actually? Because I, I oh here we go. I just picked some level and now let me go back to the main menu. Position well is a tool to create your own stages and music by continuing your agreeing that any work written is your own or you have permission for the closer composer to use it. If you share the song, I request you to edit their copy of it. Bit fancy is not capable for any songs created in composition mode. You are. If you agree, click yes to continue. Now have fun with the nice room. No, I do not agree. We'll check that one out later. Wow, brutal. <laughs> Lowest scores. Uh, I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find what where this is concerto mode. That it's talking about. Concerto. This is probably it. That's, that's player. I guess that's just like play as songs you can listen to it. Oh, but I don't have all the songs. I don't have turtle pipe, for example. Okay. Gotta unlock some more songs. Else. Concertable web history. Maybe we can read some backstories on some of these. Uh... Rana Lute Ventris. Is that the Latin name for this? Columbia Spot Frog Larvae. While possessing roughly the same set of skills as an average set, Bobaton stands out from the crowd with her acute ear for music and impeccable sense of rhythm. Like most newborns, she's quite attached to her family, so she'd do anything to reunite with them. Thankfully, her courageous spirit and moderately impressive survival skills give her a glimmer of hope on her quest to get home. Strange, she keeps sense of direction for the fish, can charge her talent. Can charge her talent attack? I did not know that you can charge that. That's something we'll have to check out in the moment. Weakness, poison, fire, lightning, anything with a mouth bigger than her. Yeah, these are the same species, I guess. A L little bit inconsistent that one is using capital L and the other is using the lowercase L. But, uh, what can you do? Mother of 4,000, and we 
who still maintained her figure attack here very much. Melody still loves all her children equally. Rumor has it that when bent all went missing, Melody popped north towards Tether Creek in an attempt to find her lost job. After nearly getting blasted by a pistol shrimp. Oh, I call it bullet shrimp. Pistol shrimp is what they call it. She sadly ventured home, hoping that her child's sense of rhythm was good enough to ensure a safe return. What a weird thing to hope. Like... I mean, you, you guys get what I'm talking about, right? Like, it's... <laughs> Strength's motherly love, whip like tongue. Weakness has difficulty keeping thousands of children safe. So we're... Oh, is that a different species? Yeah, Rhina Clam Clamitant. Bronze Frog. Platon's proud father and Melody's mate. Timber is one of the chubbier, luckier members of the Tadpole Pond, and a big reason why its mosquitoes population has grown up by the thousands as of late. Upon seeing Koda the pelican threaten his offspring, Timber leapt into action using his quick tongue to latch onto the predator. Unfortunately, this, fl this flying foe was far larger than his prior prey, leading to a clean getaway for Koda and a mouthful of feathers for Timber. Uh, straight far in love with my tongue, weakness not big enough to swallow a pelican whole. It's huge. Pixis... Pixisophallus? Pixisophallus? Pixicephalus, African bullfrog, pixie frog. Its youth is a member of the second largest frog family in the world, and he's likely the second largest individual frog within that family. Content, <laughs> content to, to squat in his grove all day, this bullfrog gobbles up just about anything that comes too close. Rumor has it that it tunes Ethan his entire notebook page by page and will clunk up parts of it as a reward for Baton bringing him enough bubbles. And if half digested biographies of river creatures don't sound exciting, you weirdo, you can always deliver it to you some challenge lies instead. Strength large and or in charge. Only needs to eat when hungry. Weakness always hungry. Sonata. Braxisalis Quangi? Quang's tree frog. For some reason that was literally born for someone that was literally born yesterday, Sonata is awfully confident and self-assured. He also feels Beton is the most gorgeous creature he's seen in his entire life, which again means yesterday. And he immediately gets to work serenading her with his distinctive crew. While Sonata is a bit forward, he's actually not a bad guy and quickly learns one of the most fundamental lessons in love. Sometimes you just have to let go. Strife musically inclined, weakness musically inclined girls. So more of my species, just your run of the mill non-musical tadpole. These guys are among Benton's family and neighbors, and bumping into them will just harmlessly shift her to their space. Tadpoles have little mouths, so their diet's mostly consists of tiny water plants. That's a more oh, maybe those triangle things are leaves? Anyway. So diets mostly consist of tiny water plants, but if more for sing into a frog typically takes a few months, but they do not lose that stylish tail. Stress, not too many lesser herds. With this nature's equivalent of the matzo ball, very snackable. Can I go to the next page? Oh, that's out. Bee? There are bees in this game? I don't remember seeing a bee. Bombus fervidus. Golden order in the bubble game. These fluffy creatures are a big part of one big tadpole pond, such a floor inviting place, thanks to their beautification project. Working to air the bees buzz from flower to flower, pollinating the pink plants in the process. They're cute and pose little threats to baton, so just let them be. Wait, that was a typo, not a pun, I swear. Strands able to uh, able to force entomologists to make lame puns. Weaknesses, fly traps, the bee equivalent of getting dumped and then eaten. Butterfly, which again I don't remember these guys in the game, but whatever. Phoebus? Philly? Philly? Orange barred sulfur? Another Beton's neighbor, this shy butterfly moved in solely to help boost Tadpole Pond's atmosphere beauty. The rest of the inhabitants are glad she did too because the place has never looked better. Butterflies, like frogs, start life off as a very different looking creature. This familial similarity might be the reason why Timber has opted to not devour them anymore. Nice of him. Strength, so demure that even people who hate bugs like butterflies. Weaknesses, come on, those wings don't really look like a snake's head or whatever. Who are they kidding? I don't think the wings are supposed to look like a snake's head. I think that's moss. Anyway, trout. On poor hin kiss my kiss, rainbow trout. Look at those lips. Perhaps they have something to do with this creature's scientific name. Whatever the case, the rainbow trout are among the many river creatures not actively trying to prevent on, but are simply a little too careless with their puckering, suckering mouths. 
If the big one does crash into you, at least you can find solace in knowing you'll soon be on the receiving end of large for your claw. It's transferred fast, not powered by floating nodes, weaknesses. The bigger creatures is basically a defenseless meat torpedo. Versus Arctos Horribilis, mainland grizzly. Look at that scientific name. Someone wasn't a fan of this animal. This powerful beast is the largest creature Bethel comes across during her adventure, so it's fortunate that it seems to be on her side. Bears love fish and are quite adept at snagging them out of the water, but the tiny Bethel is like a grain of rice fit, hardly worth the effort. Bethel may want to keep an eye on when she is bigger, though. Stress, this bad boy sits proudly atop the food chain. Weedness, I'm not brave enough to find out. Duck. Anas Platyrhinchos Mallard. It's a duck. They come in 8-bit variety in the Chiptoon Lagoon, which has a pe peculiar way of changing the way everything looks. If a duck is born there, it comes out pixelated. It comes out of a pixelated blocky egg. I hear those are particularly painful to lay. Strange luck. What do you want from me? It's a duck. It has duck-like abilities. Weaknesses. Easily sniffed out by chuckling hounds. Crawfish. Procamberis Clarky. Red Swamp Crawfish. Crawfish makes our home in Midnight Bayou, snapping up snacks on by. They're quite delicious in their own right, though, and can be eaten en masse at certain species social gathering. Do your best to keep away from their snapping, strangely rhythmic claws and you'll be fine. Some people call them crayfish, I am not one of those people. Strange adjunct claws with this Mardi Gras. Photonus Pyrilus, Big Dipper Firefly. Fireflies are actually the world's most efficient light. 100% of the energy is emitted as light, with 0% of it being heat, as opposed to other light sources like bulbs. Their bulbous booties add a romantic flair to any evening, as opposed to most animals' more posteriors. Strange fireflies are their own nightlight. Weaknesses, you think they'd be a big target, but apparently they taste terrible, and most creatures don't want to buy the light bulb. In other words, no weaknesses. <laughs> Culex quinquefasciatus. Southern House Mosquito. Most creatures are beautiful in their own way, but these mosquitoes bite in every sense of the word. Midnight Bayou is rumored to have an infestation of over 10,000 of these abominations, and they would have been overrun. And they would have overrun the place in days if it wasn't for the local frog population there. The horrid little things will try to attack Baton mid jump, so you'll want to remain on the offense while in the air to stop them. Strange, infuriatingly ubiquitous. Ubiquitous. Weaknesses. Only the female sucks blood, thank goodness. Can you imagine dealing with twice the amount of mosquitoes by you? Mud puppy? That's not what they're called, come on. Nectarus maculosus, common mud puppy. A striking looking salamander, this amphibian lies in wait ready to snap up fresh meat in the midnight value. Their vibrant gills act as a caution sign for creatures. So heed that warning and swim high, polywog. It's weird that my puppies like to chase catfish, although I got that factoid out of a joke book, so I'm not sure how accurate it is. Strands unable to return by Sonata, then again, what isn't? Weaknesses, pretty lazy, often not able to chase pets on them. Now, I gotta look up what, what's their real name? Something like this. Come on, Google, tell me what I meant. Oh my goodness. Don't do not do Salamander. Don't do this to me, Google. Don't make me look like an idiot on stream. It's not this, is it? No. Oh, is this what I was thinking of? There's no Q in it? This is probably what I was thinking of. Are they called mud puppies? Oh. So they are not mud puppies. But I guess people do confuse them with it because... Um, because they got brought up in the article here. Uh, axolotl? There's a pronunciation here, but I don't know. I can't read this notation. Axolotl? Okay. Perch. Perca flavis said yellow perch. The perch often dwells in the dark areas of their Ceres. If you have trouble seeing them, perhaps you can install a perch light. Like many of the amphibious in Pis Pisin? 
Creatures we've seen thus far personally eggs by the truckload. It's recommended that you steer Metan away from these fish as well. Often to take the high roll and slow slippery slides instead. Strengths extremely er, surprisingly hardy in extreme environments. Weaknesses poles that have hook strings attached to them. Badger. Melis, melis, melis. Common badger. A family of these thirsty creatures often make its way up the gusty rapids for some of the best tasting water on the whole island. Like most land creatures, they attack from above, so be sure to avoid those lapping tongues or else it's a one hit game over. They're pretty cute at least, and apparently the ancient civilization and gusty rapids agreed. The badgers seem to be re revered as sacred over there, with statues and temples devoted to it. Aggressive fighters, aggressive lickers, they're less thrilled about the sudden spears jutting out of the water supply. Flytrap. Dionea. Dionea. Musipula. He is flytrap. The flytrap isn't really an animal, but it's an anime like one. Essentially, a rooted large mouth on the stem. This plant, pr piranha. It's. This. Oh, it's using piranha as a verb. This plant, piranha, is its prey using sticky hair like appendages inside its mouth. In piranha jungle, they deliberately go after Beton. They're not providing backup vocals to the foot keeping going on. Perhaps they're seeking revenge for the tiny plant that Tony's been nibbling on the whole game. Lovely singing voices, vegetarians. So, search of mode, right? This sure was a single life marathon run through all 12 of the game stages. You only got one shot to do it all. Are you ready to take the ultimate nearest? I'm not sure I'm ready. Let, let's see how this goes. I feel like I'm not ready. I feel like I'm gonna die. Okay. I was gonna say, can I skip the, the intro cutscene? But I don't know if I want to uh, skip the intro cutscene because it's so charming. Look at that frog. Look how cute that frog is. It's like a good 60% of it is. Is its head, I feel. Okay. to charge the, the tail, I guess, because that was supposed to be the thing when I have full trouble power, I can like go through rocks or something like that, which I never managed to do. And now that I think of it, maybe that's how you're supposed to do the piranha level, like and not take damage.
X-Rank. Is that good? Given that I only have one life. I feel like it's more important for me to survive than to get points. So like if, if I see... I feel, if I feel like something's risky, I'm probably just gonna like avoid the mines rather than try to go for the points. Here. 
Actually, this will be good to know if I heal between levels or not. So I have two damage right now, and let's see if I start full health in the next level. Yeah, full health. Okay. Queen, beans and rice, rice and plankton, all in 
asking, could you use some modesty? Yes, we'll just have to be friends. Please stay out of trouble. Keep grabbing those bubbles. I hope I'll see you again. And if you should get more trouble. I don't remember this level. It's been a while since I played it, I think. Gosh, darn it. I took a risk. And I should not have taken that risk.
Did I, I think I hit it. But like I didn't land where I thought I would land. Concerto mode was a mistake. Oh, the backwards level. Okay. I already did the uh, chiptune level, right? Like, the levels I'm, I'm most scared of are this backwards level, the chiptune level, and the piranha level. And I, and I think I already did the chiptune level. I feel the controls are not responsive enough for that. But there's too much animation lag or unless does this game have animation cancel? No, I feel like I tested earlier. Where um like I mashed up and down really quickly and Metal and the knot go up and down really quickly. Oh, she's going pretty quickly now. <laughs> This this might be where the end the run ends. Okay, so I got my turbo meter. Turbo charge is full. So maybe I can try that thing where like I, I get into treble mode or whatever it's called and then, and then survive everything. So good. 
Okay, so far so good. Once again, there. Oh, you know what? Oh shit. Oh god! Oh motherfucker! I was about to say, I don't think I've taken any damage this whole level. And so, this might have been where I could have gotten the challenge fly, but just took damage. I don't know if I missed a well, half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know if I missed a half of them before that. I don't know it's a rather shocking channel, so to speak. From the moment when you first arrive, you'll be likely to get out the life or feel like you won't survive Thunder Creek. So you're asking how to make Thunder Creek. Well, you may just stand a chance with this technique. When you see this, you won't give away the bubble. I got a skull bubble. You'll read Thunder Creek. I want to go through the sheet.
listening to just now that the uh, ending sign instead of spinning it gets hit by lightning. Alright, not sh oh, the salt level, okay. So this one, yeah, constantly losing health. Have to make sure I keep healing up. But does that mean like it's impossible to keep a combo on this level? Because you're constantly taking damage? Maybe that's... maybe you can't keep your combo. Come to the mind there. So I guess that's. Oh. I guess that's supposed to like mash, maybe I don't know. Because some of the like some of those jump points are really tightly placed together. Oh, come on! How did that miss? Last level, okay. I was gonna say, like, I, I feel like maybe there's like four or five more levels, but nope, this is it. Alright. So, first step, we gotta destroy these wires. I had to put mines there. Then, what was it? I can't remember. There's the chainsaw, but I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Oh, right. I jump here and I hit this GLaDOS egg, I guess.
the next thing is the fire one. It's time to kick this party off, time to drop a couple of rhymes. It's time to sing another refrain. Yes, ma'am. If you want to join in, follow all the lyrics with your eye. But if you do so, make sure that you don't die. I think that I'll be singing this until the end of time. Wow. I can't just keep another okay. refrain. No, ma'am. But if you happen to know the way out of this room, you better tell me or I might make some tadpole soup. Tadpole soup. Call your buddies from coast to coast, get them all in here tonight. Just give me a seat and the show is on me and how? Wow! Did I say this five times? I can't remember. So that's number three. There's number four. Oh yeah, I guess number five is probably be it. Wait. Nope, five's not enough. Six. Yep, there's six. Okay, so we had to do it six times. And that's it, right? We... I finished uh, Concerto mode. I don't know what my rank is. Probably, what, like 10,000? Maybe? Well then, have you earned the Elusive Maestro Challenge Fly Break? better than I thought. <laughs> I thought I was being 10 times in place, but I'm like, I'm almost top 100, right? Like, well, wait, I don't understand. Highest score, lowest score. So what does that mean? Oh, sir, so, like, do you actually... You can go for lowest score. Damn. So lowest score is like avoid every single uh, avoid everything basically, I guess. Maybe even take damage on purpose to root. No. Well, maybe. Yeah. Maybe you have to take damage. So I'm like, I had a score, one of my scores was like rank 300 ish. Probably have some bad ones somewhere. What an honor, I got 67 the lowest score. Oh man. Oh, here, over 300. There, over 300. 400, wow. Okay. So, is, uh, is, what's his name, the dude gonna comment on the fact that I got the maestro thing? It's, it's, it's incredible, it's unbelievable. The flavor dancing across the path like the footstep of unicorns. I'm jealous of my own tongue. <laughs> I can see the meaning of life, all is been revealed. This, this challenge play has challenged my very perception of what happiness is. I've been miserable up until this point. This is truly Nirvana. Anyway, I'm super hungry. Why is there no check mark on this guy though? Wow. Okay, I think. Let me just see a second. I was born here in the bayou, but I remember visiting Temple Pond when I was younger. The excess of food there provided a pleasant surprise, although it was a little too sunny and cheery for my taste. So, see you later. I think I'm gonna end the stream. I think that's enough Temple Treble. Let me just check on my achievements here. Chromatic Collect. Just what? It is, I don't know what that achievement is.
Metan Tori cleanse a stage of its mo- Oh, get 100% bubbles. Yeah. What is this? Oh, no, that's the credits. Oh, I can click to warp to low. That's, that's handy, actually. Okay, yeah, I think we'll call it here for now. Uh, we might do some more again later. Like, you know, try to get 100 bubbles, try to figure out what these question marks are, try to do more achievements. But uh, I think this has been a pretty productive stream so far. So, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.